It was a very windy day. It comes to the park. Calm down now, but yeah, you like to see yourself in the picture. <laughs> she loves her new tent that I bought. We just don't know where to put it in the house because it's so huge, isn't it? I think she wants me to play with her instead of playing with the camera. I have this uncanny ability of stepping on dog poo, but today I went even further. I let her sit on it. I don't like poo. I don't like dog poo. Why don't people clean after themselves? Hey, Emily had a nap. I had a nap. Now we're hungry. We need to have lunch. So we're going to meet Brooklyn and his family at Ribs and Burgers, which is one of our favorite restaurants. Shelly's one of Shelly's favorite restaurants, <laughs> definitely. And Amelie is really excited because she loves going out. Are you excited? It is Saturday, so finding parking in a shopping center is not my preferred hobby on a Saturday. That's why I'm not driving. <laughs> That's not true. I'm not driving so I can feel. When people are parked where there's no parking, that is a bad sign. Yay! Gonna see people fighting for their lives, really angry. Just come to a very, very busy car park on a weekend. Except that today we didn't do so bad. We only had to look for like two minutes or something. <laughs> <laughs> we have a camera as well? Yeah. How do you exit from my account? Plays Pokemon on my phone and then logs in with his Google account. I don't! And then I end up with uh, all his contacts and his Gmail and his YouTube. I, I can do everything. I can upload a video in his channel, which I will do one day without him knowing. Brooklyn left me because it was too boring, even though I had been here for only like a minute. And all I needed to buy was bananas and croissants for Amelie. This place is so packed today. Not my favorite place to be on a weekend. But that's okay because we're getting out of here now. Where are we going, Brooklyn? We are going to the beach. Speaking of hard to park places, we came to Bondi, which is like an impossible place to park. Look how many cars, cars waiting. But check that out. Check. There's a, a kite festival. So many kites. Look at that. How, how awesome. How awesome is this? This is the Sesame Street guy, the blue guy. What's his, what's his name again? Um, Super Grover. Super Grover. Super Grover. By the way, guys, if you come to Bondi Beach, there's a uh, Magic Cup nest. A bunch of Do you, does, does anyone still play Pokemon Go? We're in Bondi at Sanchuras because uh, that's just the place we like to go. Amelie's a bit bored, Brooklyn's a bit bored, and I'm just trying to enjoy the serenity. So much serenity. That's bird poo. That is the greatest thing ever in created with milk. Boom, two, three. <laughs> We've had enough. We met my friend Rafael just for a little bit. He's gone for a walk doing his touristy stuff. Now we need to go back to the car because uh, my parking is about to expire in a minute. Like literally a minute. Oh no, actually a minute ago. So hopefully by the time we get there we didn't get a fine. Time to go. That previous footage gladly is sponsored by the wonderful human who couldn't be bothered cleaning after his or her. Not that I'm surprised that I stepped on it. In my family, I'm well known for being the person who is never paying attention and always steps on poo. Always. The only time I went to Rio, I was there with my grandparents, my mom, my sister. We went to a relative's house that I never met before. As I was approaching the building, they live in an apartment, I stepped on dog poo and it was smelling so bad, so bad, so bad. Oh, my grandfather, <laughs> he lost his mind, he was furious. We went into the garage, trying to find a tap or some 
place where I could clean it. And he made me clean my shoe before we actually ring the bell and knocked on the door to go and visit them. And I think the whole time he made me sit in one place and not move much because he didn't want whatever was still left to spread around the carpet. But then again, my grandfather, when I was a child, wouldn't let me or my sister walk around his house because he didn't want the carpet to be dirty and he didn't want to clean it that often. So, <laughs> this, this is not a joke, all right? This is for real. He had pots made with cardboard in a bubble wrap and we could only walk on the paths that were already provided every time we deviated from the paths that he would be he would not be able to cope stick to the path that could be a good life lesson you know or maybe the opposite